My daughter's been playing soccer since she was very young, and ever since then, I've had a camera in hand, highlighting videos, and Final Cut Pro. And boy, did it take a long time. I got a little smarter and started adding the timestamps in my Notes app, which sped up the process a lot. And then I decided to step it up a level and build a web app where I could start the game and I could push the moment buttons that I wanted to highlight and it would keep up with everything for me. And then I built a video processor to process all the videos afterwards and it was a massive time saver. So I decided to do it for the whole team. And then I thought, why well, stop there? Why not build something where I could put all these games and all these highlights right in my pocket? So I built an iOS app added some pretty cool features like the ability to trim those videos down and highlight them and share them. But then when I got to sharing, I realized they're the wrong format. I put this cool little feature in there where you could actually track. And so all you do is start it, hold your finger over wherever you wanted to track, follow a player, follow the ball. doesn't matter. It's up to you. You can track anything you want. And when you're done, you just submit it. And in less than two seconds, you have a new video you can save directly to your camera roll. And it's formatted to share on Reels or Shorts or anywhere else. I added in a little post-processing to help smooth out the shaky videos. So you got a nice smooth video at the end. Nice goal. Then I realized well, you have to have a way to add these games in there so you can get new games. So I added in a couple features to add your team, invite team members, and uh, create games. Then I added a way to search for those really special moments and even had some fun with the ability to add AI captions to them. Then I needed a way to create full length highlight videos. So I added a portal where I could quickly get in and add all the videos I wanted to a highlight reel, click a button, and they were automatically generated for me. High quality videos, nice transitions, music automatically added in, and all done within seconds. So if you've hung on this long, this is where it really gets interesting. I thought to myself, what if I'm not there? I don't want to watch the two hour game. So then I started tracking the player and the ball. And then I started tracking everything on the field. And then I thought to myself, could I build something to highlight an entire game I've never seen? So I built the multimodal AI platform for soccer highlights. And I can highlight an entire game in a minute and 55 seconds. Full game highlight pages, game statistics, tagged by moment, organized by player. And if you're sharing your games on YouTube, I added in an integration with YouTube so you can take all those highlights, sync them right into your video, add chapter markers for those goals, for those PKs. Man, what a bummer that was. So you might be thinking by now, where are you going with this? I know I am. Truth is, I didn't start to go anywhere. I started this to get highlights of my daughter's soccer game and to do it without a whole lot of effort or knowledge and video. And along the way, I kept pushing the limits. And I may have the fastest and most accurate soccer highlight platform using multimodal AI that exist. I haven't seen anything else like it. So while I don't know where I'm going, I do know my next goal. No pun intended. I'm going to try to look at the game from a whole different angle. So hopefully I'll see you soon in the game.